These are OP character combos, where strength from one character mesh well with another character to get even more strengths. First off, we have WX78 and Wickerbottom, a classic OP combo. The reason why this is such a strong combo is simple. Wickerbottom's book, The End is Nigh, summons a bunch of lightning, and WX78 soaks up lightning for overcharge. This gives him a 50% speed boost, immunity to cold, and a constant light source. It also heals him when he's struck, but also hurts his sanity. WX78 can also eat stale food with no penalty, whereas Wickerbottom gets extra penalties. So WX78 eats the stale food, and she eats the fresh food, and that's another nice little combo there. Wartox and Wormwood. While it may not be the strongest combination ever, it's certainly one you should use with character swapping. Wormwood can make living logs for 20 HP, but he can't heal using foods, which are by far the most effective healing sources normally. His best method to heal time efficiently otherwise is the Bat Bat, and after that healing glands, although they are incredibly slow to use compared to normal healing sources, and a huge pain to gather. But Wartox bypasses all of that with a few healing souls. Now you can get living logs cheap, convert butterflies, bees, and spiders straight into one of the most useful magic items in the entire game. Each soul will heal Wartox and Wormwood 19 HP, so one soul almost equates to one log, and you can get the soul from killing most mobs, even really easy ones. Wickerbottom, Wormwood, Warly. Now, in solo play, Two of these characters are the worst in the game, but in group play with character swapping, bringing out this combo to make spices can be super strong. Wormwood can plant seeds without an extremely expensive farm plot, Wickerbottom can grow all the seeds instantly, and Whirly can turn those farmed ingredients into his extremely powerful spices. Now, if I'm playing efficiently, I won't run this 24 seven. You could actually do this with a single player with character swapping, although to harvest it all, I would definitely want two players. For instance, if you're doing the Wolfgang Wickerbottom combo we'll talk about later, you could have the Wolfgang swap to Wormwood, then after he's done planting and harvesting, swap to Whirly to make spices, then back to Wolfgang. You wouldn't want to do this with a WX78 though, because he will lose a lot of gear upgrades. Basically, Wormwood and Whirly have good production capabilities, but they have no action upside, so they're not good in battle, and they actually have a lot of action downsides. So going into combat with them, or really doing anything, is a huge drag except for producing these few items. But you can use their full production capabilities, and you never have to actively play them with character swapping, which is really nice. Wartox and Wolfgang. I would say this is the strongest combo, and most players would never even think of this. Wartox does everything stupidly well. He's a very good support character and a very good combat character, and Wolfgang is absurdly strong in combat. Most people won't think about how Wartox can gather souls from mobs that die nearby to him, not just mobs he kills. So Wolfgang can kill mobs nearby to Wartox to give him more souls. On top of this, Wartox has a downside that makes food less effective to force him to resort to eating souls. So the Wartox player can go ahead and eat some souls and give food to the Wolfgang player because Wolfgang drains hunger at a maximum rate of three times normal to maintain maximum mightiness. He needs all the food he can get. Wickerbottom and Wolfgang. Wickerbottom makes a lot of food, is good in indirect combat, but has no advantages in direct combat. Wolfgang eats a lot of food and is the strongest character. Actually, let's scratch that. The strongest mob in the entire game in direct combat. Normally, Wolfgang mains will hover right above the mighty threshold as there's barely any extra hunger drain over normal form and a stat increase that beats Wigfred out slightly. But with a wicker bottom, you can just stay in maximum mighty mode all the time and go on a rampage. This is especially useful in assisting with some of Wickerbottom's farm setups, such as the Lycan farm, which can farm approximately 600 Lycan in under a minute with no interruptions. This food source is just over 10,000% more efficient than farming dragon fruit if setup isn't taken into account, and approximately 60,000% more efficient if setup time is taken into account for a dragon fruit farm by day 100. Yeah, 60,000%, so 600 times better is how much more efficient it is. Of course, farming dragon fruit is basically the worst way to gather food in the game, but even the next leading food sources can't come close to being as strong as this. Now, normally this is absurdly dangerous and annoying to go do, 
Wicker Bottom's combat strength is indirect, and there are a ton of mobs in this area that can avoid indirect combat, such as Depths Worms, most of the time, Nightmare Creatures, and Shadow Creatures, because reading these books will make Wicker Bottom insane. But when you have the strongest mob in the game protecting you, not a problem. Wolfgang can deal with all those threats, and that food you're farming absurdly efficiently will feed him for a long time. Before we go to our next combo, I need you to subscribe, otherwise the YouTube algorithm is going to drop my pet Jimbo into this lava pit and turn him into a giant chicken nugget. Wolfgang and Wolfgang, the epitome of combat combos. One Wolfgang isn't enough power to satiate you, you need more. Four times the damage sounds good, let's start there. To use this power correctly, you'll need two good players who can gather food quickly and know when to combine their power and when to split up so as not to steal each other's food sources. Combining two Wolfgang's mighty strength and a basic handbat and football helmet can make basically any boss look like a huge pushover, but let's not stop there. There's enough food to support all six vanilla slots with Wolfgang in the world, so let's do that. Using your total 12 times damage multiplier, you could kill the Dragonfly raid boss in under 15 seconds with only handbats, and she would only get to attack one time due to her stun mechanic which was never designed to withstand such an onslaught. Other raid bosses take a similar beating. There's nothing they can do to stop it. In late game, you can do the same thing except have one person swap to Wicker Bottom, Lycan farm for a day or two, and get enough food for a year or two while you all play super buff Wolfgang. Weber and Weber. Every new player intrinsically knows that this is the best defensive combo and increases their chance of survival by 10,000%. Together, you're gonna cover the entire world in spider dens and queens. Then when Deerclops comes around, you'll quickly learn that area effect damage is in fact a thing, and you could probably kill 10,000 spiders no big deal, then you let them run away. Such is nature for a new player. But by this time next year, the spider apocalypse is gonna be in full force. He's not getting away with it again. Every tile will be covered by spider dens, and there will be spider queens everywhere. Deerclops, 1,000 spider queens should do the trick. Just know with this combo, unlike the other combos, you can't really mix and match other character combos into it if you're doing a bigger server. When you start a multiple Weber world, everyone's Weber, because you'll be making spiders everywhere. For any other character, you're extremely harmful. And our last combo, Wartox and Wendy. Wendy can kill small mobs with Abigail really fast, like absurdly fast. Wartox can just stand next to those dying mobs to collect some souls stupidly fast. That's basically all there is to this combo, so I'll leave it at that. And thanks for watching! Please subscribe and like the video to save my pet Jimbo from the YouTube algorithm. I don't want him to be a giant chicken nugget, okay? So just help me out here and subscribe and like the video.